hi everyone welcome back to electronics geek so from today onwards we will be starting the vlsi series like what will be the feature and what basically the vlsi and what is the front end and what is the back end so we will be learning these thing in the this particular vlsi series okay so stay tuned for that and please subscribe to our youtube channel for such videos and share it with your friends so let's begin with today's update today we will be deep drive into the front end part like what basically a front end and what are the key domains in the front end so we will be seeing each and everything and at the end we will also see the salary expectations as well as the companies hiring the front end engineer so let's see okay so first it comes to the what is vlsi basically so vlsi is basically a very large scale integration so basically this is the combination of cmos or the integrated search so as here you can see the uh in the photograph that this is the vlsi chip so whatever you see in the ram rom so you have seen the uh, black chip right that is called a vlsi chip okay so here in vlsi we have a two domain the first one is the front end domain and the second one is this uh, back end domain okay so today uh, in this particular video we will be learning the front end about a uh, front end so for the front end domain here uh, we have a four different uh, domain inside that like uh, you can be a design engineer you can be a verification engineer you can be a dft engineer or you can be a fpg engineer okay so these are the basic building blocks or these are the basic domain we can say so basically as the name suggests it is a design engineer means they will design the integrated chips okay so let's say an example let's say you you have to design circuit which can give you an input from a and can give you an output y okay so if you have to design like that then this is the work of the design engineer and yani design engineer will design this type of circuits means the logic or the requirement whatever the requirement by the companies or whatever the requirement by the client or whatever the basic requirement so this will go to the design engineer and design engineer will understand everything and after this they will start working on the design part and once they complete the designing thing then it comes to the verification so once the design engineer job is done like they have designed the circuit then it comes to the verification engineer they will verify the circuit okay so whatever the design engineer design then the verification engineer will verify whether whether all the requirement matches or not like let's say if you are giving the input a and you are getting the output y it is correct or not okay so whether you are getting the output or not like everything you have to verify it okay so that is the work of the verification engineer okay so after that that comes to the dft engineer so basically dft means it is not a discrete fourier transformation okay so it's the uh, design for the testability basically after designing and verification now what you have to do is you have to check whether maybe a some mismatch in the connection or there may be the mismatch in the output okay so that is the work of the dft engineer to check whether everything is working fine or not or the connections are uh, connected correctly or not so this is the work of the dft engineer okay so once everything is done then the uh, it comes to the fpg engineer basically fpg is a board okay where we will burn our code and we will check whether we are getting the desired output or not theek hai jaise ki maan ke chalo agar design engineer everything is design a verify engineer everything is verified okay but physically it is not possible directly make an ic right so before that what we do is we need to burn this code into the fpga to check whether whatever we have written in the code whether it's working or not or it's giving the same output as per desired or not okay so this is the work of the fpga engineer means you can say they also verify whether the, they are getting the desired output or not okay so after verification only then we will move for the fabrication and all or the back end part okay so these are the basic domains like design verification dft or fpga so in mein se aap koi bhi choose kar sakte ho as per your skills or as per your knowledge or as per your interest so jis bhi domain mein aap jana chahte ho you guys can easily join and there are ample opportunities for the design verification dft and fpga okay so let's see so what are the steps required to get into the front end engineer the first one is aapko kya kya learn karna hai the very important part is good knowledge of digital electronics very important digital electronics is the key or the backbone of the vlsi as you all are aware of right and uske baad hai vlsi jo ki aapka basic vlsi rahega jo ki aapke btech wagera mein rehta hai and cmos that is also a, not in depth but if you are getting into the front end so little bit is okay okay and analog electronics it is also important these are the basic important key skills and agar आपको सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम्स में भी थोड़ा बहुत अगर आपको आता है तो देन इट विल बी प्लस फॉर यू एज वेल ठीक है सो दीज आर द बेसिक सब्जेक्ट्स नॉलेज रिक्वायर्ड to get into the front end okay and agar aap abhi college student hai first year second year third year fourth year final year or just graduated to aapke paas abhi bhi mauka hai you guys can learn digital electronics youtube pe aapko mil jayenge videos bahut sare videos hain and i think niso academy if you want you can refer the niso academy so they also have the very good teaching style for the digital electronics and vlsi ke liye you guys can refer the nptel lectures cmos analog so same agar aap charo subjects ke liye agar aap nptel lectures follow karoge to that will be good 
आपको कुछ इन डेप्थ नॉलेज मिलेगा प्लस आपको काफी एक्स्ट्रा कुछ सीखने को मिलेगा उसमें उसके अलावा यहाँ पे आपको प्रोग्राम की रिक्वायरमेंट रहती है दैट इज कमांड इन दी प्रोग्रामिंग सो दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू नो सी दैट इज वेरी गुड and if you know c++ then that is excellent yani if you have a c and c++ knowledge then that is only the requirement so if you have these skills so that's it okay and if you don't know how to learn c c++ you can also uh, go through the youtube channels there are many youtube channels from where you guys can easily learn c c++ python so basically python is required for these scripting languages uh, but it's not that much mandatory right but if you know then well and good otherwise for the scripting we have the tcl or the perl so we will uh, talk about these things later in the video don't worry so programming skills like basic c and c++ is okay if you uh, if you know these things okay c and c++ okay उसके बाद देन वी हैव वेरी लॉक सिस्टम वेरी लॉक यूवीएम डीएफटी तो दिस स्किल्स यू गाइस कैन आल्सो लर्न फ्रॉम इन एनपीटीएल लेक्चर्स लाइक वेरी लॉक इज कंप्लीटली फ्री देयर सो यू गाइस कैन गो थ्रू दैट एंड सिस्टम वेरी लॉक आल्सो यू कैन फाइंड इन सम ऑफ द एनपीटीएल लेक्चर्स बट नॉट फुली बट होपफुली लाइक वी आर आल्सो वर्किंग ऑन दैट वंस वी कंप्लीट एवरीथिंग लाइक वी कैन आल्सो uh give you the material on system very log uvm and dft but if you have the knowledge of very log and digital so you guys can also get into the design engineering okay so you guys can apply for the design engineering post so not an issue for that if you don't know the system very log uvm as well as you guys can also get into the dft part and it is not that much hard uh, to get into the dft part it's uh, very basic okay so you guys can follow the uh, many articles there in the ac world is there and verification.com is there so you guys can go through those articles uh, you may learn the system very log uvm as well as there okay once you done with that then uh, it's come to the verification part and if you want to get into the verification domain then uvm and system very log is very important for that you should have the knowledge of uvm and system very log so you learn everything then the final part that is very important it's come to the projects very very important why it's very important if you want to get into the industry so projects are mandatory because project shows you have that skill set right you have learned very log you have learned programming languages you know the digital electronics but how the recruiter will know whether you know these things or not okay so how they will know they will know through the projects so if you have done some projects some protocols like you are spi so these are the basic protocols which i am talking about but if you go into into the higher end the industry part then you have to know axi ahb protocol the okay, amba protocol is there but if you will start from the basic like spi uart i2c after getting the commands on these uh, protocols then you can go for the other protocols don't worry if you had any questions related to the project uh, programming languages or the very log system very log so you guys can comment it below or you guys can directly reach out to us on our instagram handle that is electronic speak okay so these are the four steps which you have to go through the first one is basics knowledge of the uh, subjects digital electronics vlsi then you should have a little bit command of the cc++ or programming languages and after that get into the very log so very log you guys can learn for free and after this get into the projects okay so go through the projects of basics like d flip flop you can write adder you can make subtractor you can make from the very log so these are the four pillars if you know these things you guys can get into the any industry So let's see industry in which you can work. So here are the companies uh, in which you can work: Intel, Nvidia, Qualcomm, Broadcom, I, uh, TI that is Texas Instrument, AMD, ARM, Xilinx, and there are many other opportunities or uh, many other MNCs, right? And an average salary that an officer will get about for the BLS engineering is four to five lakh per annum. in a startup or the basic service based company right if you get into the product based company then definitely you will get 5 to uh, 15 lakh per annum for a fresher okay and if you have one or two year of experience you may get into 20 24 25 lakh okay and for jobs we provide the regularly job updates so you can follow our youtube channel or the telegram channel or whatsapp channel and uh, linkedin you will get all the jobs company website so we already provide you the jobs so you don't need to again go and search for the intel nvidia so you don't have to worry about this difference it is well and good and very important if you have the reference then the chance of you getting the shortlist will be high and other job portals like novi.com and all the first one is like you are you are following our channel electronics gig like you will get all the uh, job updates in our telegram channel whatsapp channel so these two are very important okay so this is all about the front end vlsi engineer so if you want to get into the front end so these are the things which is required and uh, we will talk in depth in the coming videos plus uh, we will next video will be the on the back end part so we will see that also okay so if you have any questions or anything in mind do let me know in the comment section okay and if you like our content please like and subscribe to our youtube channel 
and share it with your friends and please let us know in the comment section as well like please continue this type of series we want more this type of series so that we can also get the motivation to make more such type of videos okay so see you in the next video till then take care stay safe and keep applying for the job all the best bye bye